Well, this is the first time I'm involved with a film that the first screening that I'm seeing with an audience uh, is at the premiere. Usually you see it pr prior, uh, but because it was The Lion King and because we, we felt very positive about the story, and, uh, and there were so many visual effects in it, it really took the whole three years to get this film finished. So I'm sort of realizing as I'm coming here that this is the first time I'm gonna see it with an audience. So, so that's a bit overwhelming. And then also uh, just, uh, it's been such a long journey from pencil drawings to early animation to rendering to you know all of the things that add up to making it look the way it does. It's a very long process, so it feels like it's the end of a journey for me. It's great to show it to the people who collaborated on it, especially the voice talent, because they come in very early. They come in again, they see it, it doesn't look so real. So uh, they're very, you know, it takes a lot of um, creative optimism for them to be able to envision what it might look like, because I try to explain to them what it'll look like at the end of the process. So it's a, it's a big leap of faith. But it's so fun to see them who brought so much inspiration to the roles, a lot of improvisation, of course, the singing and the music, and all of these uh, wonderful performers contributed to it, and then we try to honor that with the visuals. And so it all comes together tonight. Well, we wanted to stay true to, to what was in the old uh, film, the 94 classic. Uh, uh, and of course, we, uh, you know, we had Hans Zimmer and, and Leb O.M. and Elton John, Tim Rice, and Pharrell. So they all came together to try to do something that honored the original, but updating it for this version. And then, of course, you have some new songs. You have Beyonce has a new song in it uh, called Spirit. And Elton John and Tim Rice and Leb O.M. made a song uh, uh, at the, in the end credits. And then there's some other songs in the, in the credit roll. So uh, we wanted to make sure we honored what everybody expected and then also add something new. I think it's really fun for people who know the old, uh, the old production to see where we, uh, where we stuck to it and where we deviated. And of course, it's always great for a new generation to see the movie in a new way because it keeps the story alive. The stage play has kept it alive for decades. Of course, since 94, people have still been watching the animated production. Those still hold up incredibly well. And here's a way to do another interpretation. So I hope people, it's a way to share this great story uh, to more people.